Okay, that's 050540. Okay, is, there, is there another, like a dash? Yes, dash, dash 2021. Okay, and when was that report made? March 25th, 2021. March 25th? Yes. No, they do miscellaneous reports so it don't get investigated. They've been doing it for years if they haven't denied the report and detained me or arrested me um, out of corruption. Okay. All right. Other, other than that, that one there, was there another one that you had? Yes. Let me get that for you. Because the first one... I've been, they wouldn't take the reports at first. And then they started taking the reports and doing miscellaneous reports. Okay, it's 044. For those who are still in Dallas? Yes. Okay. 044120-2021. And when did that one happen? March 15th. Or when was that report made? March 15th, 2021. Both of them were stalking. They said that there was um, missing information in the first report because they're covering for it, the police department. So they told me it was missing information in the first one. I didn't really have given them the perpetrator. Then I did another report and they did a miscellaneous report, the second report that I made. Um, there is multiple, but I wanted to get an investigation on the corruption with the court, and um, I reported interference with child custody, and they're covering for that. I can give you that report number, and um, denying investigation for the corruption of the court, corruption of the CPS worker, how my um, child custody rights are being intervened with and sabotaged. You, would you like that report number, the interference of child custody that they refuse to investigate? Okay, I'm getting that. Just one second. Okay, that is zero two. Okay. Three two. Three zero. Dash twenty twenty two. I talked to the detective today and he's refusing to put in the report the corruption that I keep reporting, which is vital to the, the detective. Yes. Who's the detective? Is that what no, you have? I, I, yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's Detective Perez. Peru? Perez. I think that's, that's P. P -E oh, Perez. Perez. Yes. Okay. I believe that was his name. I'd have to get back with you for definite. And is, is that, again, is that, is that the court or is that Dallas? PD. Dallas PD. Okay. What is happening is I keep reporting to them the corruption with the CPS worker because I'm getting railroaded. So there's a multitude of people railroading me. And the police keep covering for it. And um, they keep putting false things in the report and covering for the crimes. So Perez will not follow proper pro protocol with interference with child custody. And he would not put the um, what was going on in the reports that I'm claiming that the court is bribed, that I have this abuser, abuser that I keep reporting to the police department, Jason Gardner of Vivid Images, that's railroading me. They keep covering for him and not um, doing an investigation on that. Okay. Uh, Ms. Clark, what's a good number to contact you? Let, let me, um, the, the way that here at the DA's office, we have turns, taking turns, answering calls, because we had a lot of calls. As a matter of fact, I've got some, you know, got some calls that have come in. So um, I've got to do some research here and see what direction I can get you headed to. My, 
the court that I'm assigned to does not handle cases like this, but I will look into this and see which direction I can help you with. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, I'm sorry. What's your name again? I just, cause like I said, I, uh, record my calls. Yeah. It's investigator Decker. Okay. And your badge number is five, three, eight. Okay. So when I'm reporting all this, these things to the DA, what is the, um, what happens from this point on? So what can you tell me what will happen? Well, I know that's what I'm going to say. I'm going to look into this and see which direction I need to get you to, to the right people that would be working a case like this. We have, we have a lot of different departments within the DA's office. Um, so I need to try to figure out which one this would be going to, whether it be the, the family courts, because George Allen, we are not part of the George Allen. Uh, that's that's going to be a different family. You know, there's a whole set, different set of investigators and attorneys that work over there. So let's I'm, see which, after doing, doing some research on this, which uh, which uh, department will be handling okay. it. Okay, so I have a whole bunch of things. Go, I have a whole bunch of things going on. So I have the wealthy abuser that's brought in the courts and the police department that I need victim advocacy for. Is that possible? That again? I have a wealthy yeah, abuser, what? a wealthy stalker that's bribing a multitude oh, of people. Wealthy. Yes, stalker that's bribing a multitude of people. The police department uh, have it enlisted in the police department to harass, stalk, and um, cover for his crimes. Okay, so I have the wealthy abuser, so I need um, victim's advocacy. And the police are not, um, they're covering for the crime, so they're not investigating any of my reports. I'm blacklisted from getting services and domestic violence. So I want to know what the DA can do to protect me from this man. They're denying protection orders and having security and police removing me from so I can't be protected with protection orders. So I need education on and information because I keep getting denied services on how I can get protected. So are you able to assist with that? Okay. Well, that, that's what I'm, I'm making notes here, and I'm going to check on that, and I will call you back and let you know. Okay. Okay. Y'all okay. won't get keep right. getting denied services, will I? So you'll have answers that I can get protection, right? I'm going to do the best that I can do. I'm not going to make any promises that I can't. That well, I can't they wouldn't deny me back. services, would they? If a person is requesting, well, that's, well, that's what I'm going to into because I, I don't. I'm just hearing one side of this. I've got to hear all of it. I've got to do my research, and then I will call you back and let you know what direction uh, we can help you with. Okay. Okay. So I just want to know about the um, victims' advocacy. Do I need to call them back, or because they said that they need a report number, and the police keep covering for the crimes and won't build a case? So. Okay. I made a note here that you were checking to see what we could do with the victim advocacy center as well. So okay. I will check, look into that as well. Okay. 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 Thank you. All right. You bet. Bye. Bye.